Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your presence here this evening. And thank you to the National Building Museum for honoring me with this recognition. I am humbled to receive an award carrying the distinguished name of Vincent Scully. His work as a teacher and critic has reminded the world of the importance of a humane architecture that both respects the past and embraces the future. I might add that my only regret as a Harvard man was that Mr. Scully chose to do so much work at Yale. Ladies and gentlemen, some 30 years ago I began to question why architecture in the modern Islamic world seemed to have lost touch with the great achievements of its past. I began working with leading architects, philosophers, artists, teachers, historians, and thinkers from all religious faiths to establish an award for architecture. We sought to reshape and reposition knowledge and taste in the public psyche and to change the behavior of the vast range of actors who shape the built environment. Now, some 20 years later, the extent to which we have been successful is due to a multitude of individuals and organizations from all regions, faiths, and occupations. They have been cemented together by their mutual commitment of service to people through the contribution of time, talent, and knowledge. It is on behalf of this broad spectrum of qualified men and women that I accept the Vincent Scully Award this evening.